much today under its own power and has been operational ever since. It's been repaired but never refurbished. And this car has been operational continuously since the 1920s. It is the fundamentally the same as the car you rode on today, except it's a single-ended car. Those cars came in double-ended and single-ended versions. Uh, where they had a loop to turn the car around, they would use the single-ended cars. And where they didn't have a loop and they had to reverse the cars, they used the double-ended cars. But other than that, it's fundamentally the same car. Uh, and uh, this car could tow a trailer. It doesn't run a two-car train, but these hitches are a tow a trailer. This car was designed to tow a trailer. This is a Philadelphia car from the 19, late 1940s. It's the newest, op well, it's truly the newest operational car we have. It's the most trouble. Why is that? The, the early cars are just so simple. Then they began making them more complicated. They had more, you know, multiple valves in the brake system. Part of it was for safety. There wasn't a lot of safety on these older cars. But this car, if we can keep this car running for a couple months, we're happy. It's been, it's been non-running more than it's been running. That's good. Yeah, we like to run it, so. Okay, if you want to come with me, we can take a quick look.